The final race of day one is the three mile five furlong maiden chase known as the four amigos maiden chase. Agent decoy at the top for Padre Hogan, Langley Streak, Graham Clutterbuck, Newsflash, Martin Keynes, Tuxford, Darren Thompson, Velvet Sky, Craig Beckwith, Battle Thralls, Leon van Rensburg, Fermion Freeze for David Robertson, Place the Duchess Alex Cherry, Rose Tree, David Hooley, and Sarah Manamu at the bottom. And then away and racing. Sarah Manamu from Matt Cooper. And they head off towards the first of 22 fences. I think this is the second longest race of the week. And they get into the first, which they all get over okay, with the exception of Tuxford. So Darren Thompson's Tuxford departs at the very first fence. And there's one or two sketchy jumps at the second as well, so yeah, not novices either. These are open horses as they head towards the third of the 22. And place the Duchess is just in front coming into it, stood off it, but got over it okay. And leads by about half a length to Fermi on freeze on the outside in second. As they get over the next uh, mistake that time was Sarah Manamu. Or would that be Sarah Manamu? It'd probably Sarah Manamu, isn't it, without a H on the end? Place the Duchess then leads from Fermion Freeze in second. Uh, Newsflash in third. Agent Decoy fourth in one on the track. Langley Streak. Past the winning post, they've got another couple of circuits ahead of them. At least, maybe even three. I'm not sure how tight this track is at the moment. I'll let you know next time round. And it's Fermion Freeze in front. On, place the Duchess in second. News flashes in third, and Agent Decoy is fourth. As they're bowling along, heading towards the next fence. David Robertson's Fermi and Freeze the leader. Place the Duchess second. And Agent Decoy and News Flash as they take the fifth. Which again, they all successfully negotiate. Just lost the one so far, Tuxford. They say a lot of these horses will be ending up in those Moore's Millions qualifiers throughout the season. And the leader's gone. He really made a mistake. I thought he was going to get away with it, but the jockey couldn't hang on. And Fermi and Freeze is out of it. And that's David Robertson's charge departed. And it's left Padraig Hogan's agent decoy in the lead coming into this next one. We'll skip over that one nicely. It really did look like Fermi and Freeze was going to get away with that mistake. The jockey hung on grimly for a while. And eventually exited the side door. As they get over the next, it was Martin Keynes' horse's turn to make a mistake there. News flash very nearly became a bulletin of his own. And it's Agent Decoy on the outside of Place the Dutchess as they get over number nine, which they're all safely over. A loose horse. Showing the way. Loose horses Fermi and Freeze. The second loose horses in the middle of the pack. Tuxford, let's hope they don't cause any issues later on. Still a long way to go. Two miles still to race. And place the Duchess is about a neck in the lead. On the inside is Velvet Sky. That one is going to be potentially hampered by the loose horses who've now gone into first and second. Newsflash has recovered from the mistake. The one that's made eye-catching progress is Battle Thralls. Place the Duchess has lost her place a little bit as they get over that ditch. Which they're all over nicely. And now Battle Thralls has jumped into the lead. Into the next. Safely over that. Newsflash was the better jump this time. Langley Streak is also in that leading group of three. I'm sure all these jockeys have got one on the loose horses as they get over the twelfth. And Agent Decoy was in the lead a minute ago. He's now the back marker, but he's no more than seven or eight lengths off the lead. As they jump the 13th, and they've still got a long way to go. They've got one more complete circuit when they finish this circuit, which they will do so very soon. Passing the paddock, and then they pass the stand, and now they'll pass the winning post and head out for their final circuit in this Four Amigos. Maiden Chase. And Newsflash is the leader. 
Velvet Sky, and Langley Tree, Langley Streak, and then Rose Tree after that one. Yeah. Sarah Manamu in the red jacket, and Agent Decoy's gone past. Place the Duchess, so place the Duchess and Agent Decoy both been in the lead at some point, and now at the back. But like I said before, they're only about eight lengths off the leader. One of the loose horses has dropped into the pack. Another one, Fermi and Freeze, continues to lead the rest of them as they get over the 14th. And it's News Flash who's now found himself in a clear lead. By about three or four. And over this ditch, and got the loose horse of company. And there's a four there, there's a four there, there's Rose Tree's gone. No, Rose Tree's gone for David Hooley. There's three gone there. And Newsflash continues to be in the lead and six lengths clear with the loose horse for company. Gets over that one nicely. Then comes Velvet Sky and Battle Falls. And Sarah Manamu with Agent Decoy on the inside of Place the Duchess and Langley Streak. The back marker as they skip over 17. Five more to take then. And Newsflash. I'm going to give Martin Cairns a comeback winner on day one. He gets over the 18th in front. From Battle Thralls and Velvet Sky Place, the Duchess is making a forward looking move now. After being given a mid race breather, he's coming through to challenge for the lead. So it's Newsflash with on its outside place. The Duchess jockey's been running a clever race on that one, maybe as they pass the five furlong pole. They've still got four more fences to get over in the straight. And it's Place the Duchess who's now gone on from Newsflash in second. Velvet Sky and Battle Thralls are next. Then Agent Decoy, Sarah Manamu, and finally Langley Streak as they finally turn into the straight where they've got four more fences to take and it's Place the Duchess who's got the lead Place the Duchess is three clear but Battle Thralls is looking a big danger so too is Velvet Sky Newsflash is now beating Agent Decoy and Langley Shrieker trying to run on but it's Place the Duchess may have gone too soon and on but a really good jump over to third last has extended his lead back to two lengths again Battle Thralls is in second Langley Shrieker is getting there slowly they're coming down to the second last it's Place the Duchess over in the lead over in second is Battle Thralls Velvet Sky looks for racing room. He's trying to get through. Agent Decoy and Langley Street running on over the last and Battle Thralls into the front. But here comes Agent Decoy on the near side. Battle Thralls is still in front. Agent Decoy is beginning to get closer. But Battle Thralls is ahead by about a neck. And Agent Decoy is trying to close. But Battle Thralls is hanging on, sticking his neck out and racing up towards the line. It's got to be close, but it's got to be Battle Thralls, I think. It's mighty close. It's on the nod as they come up towards the line. Agent Decoy closes to us. Battle Thralls on the far side. You make your own decision. As to which one you think's won that, we could see the second dead heat of the day on the opening day of the season. Three miles and five furlongs, and I can't split them. It's all going to come down to the angle. It's probably battle thralls on the inside if he's anybody. But Agent Decoy put up a big fight, and it's a short head win for battle thralls and Leon van Rensburg. Agent Decoy for Padre Hogan was second. Velvet Sky Craig Beck with third. Langley Streak for Grand Clutterbuck fourth. And place the Duchess for Alex Cherry was fifth. That's day one of the new season in the book. And we're back tomorrow for day two.